It wasn't okay. So this probably is very, uh, I think it's a probability interview question that I think is a little bit tricky. So I want to make a video. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more questions, then you can uh, go to the following list. Okay, so the best keyboard player is taking one refill rows and she score one point if the ball passes through the hoop and the zero point if she misses it. She has scored on her first row and miss the second. Okay, so that's this one. For each of the following throw, the probability score is a fraction of the throws she has made so far. For example, if she has scored 23 points after 40 rows, then the probability of the next will be uh, 23 divided by 40. So this is why this problem is difficult. Okay, so you need to uh, re uh, remember this, these rules. And after 100 rows, then what is the probability she, that she scored exactly 50 basket? Okay. So uh, in general, if you want to solve this kind of question, then you just start from a small one. But you need to like somehow like write down the, the, the write down the equation. So it's like a, if you work, it's like if you it's like a, the dynamic programming in the computer science. Okay, so my idea is that that's P and K to be the rows that the K points. And our goal is to find 150. So well, first one that's the goal only goes to three, right? Because only goes to one and two are already finished. Okay, so what's P31? So P31 is because previously she hits uh she hits the one in the first one and the miss the second. So P31 is half, right? Because the, this one means that she hit one. Okay. And the P32 is what? P32 is also half because P32 means that she, she get the points at the third row, right? So it's also half. Okay, so let's solve n equals to four. Now the problem becomes tricky, right? Let's solve p for one. p for one means what? Means that uh, that uh, she miss. So let me just write the uh, she miss at the third and the third row at the third row. And also miss at the fourth row. So the answer will be this, right? So she missed a third row is this. Now she already missed two, right? So the probability of she missed at the fourth row will be two divided by three. Okay, so it will be one divided by three. Now let's solve this P for two. Okay, so remember that it's K. I think she already missed one point, right? So K, K must be what? Most from one to N minus one because she already missed the second. So how about P42? So P42 is what? Let's write it this. P42 has a chance that uh, maybe she missed at 4 1, but hit, right? But he correct, hit. Or, or she missed, or she hits. He, she hits, got the second, third row correctly, but miss the fourth row. Okay. So let's solve this. So what so what is this? Okay, so let's so this is one divided by one half times three one four two. Three one four two means that she missed at third row, but I get the correct on fourth row. So it's be one divided by three. That become more, more difficult. And for this one she miss on she get the third. So this this one will be also this right because she, because that this means that she get a, get two, so she has a two thirds probability to hit the next. But the, this guy, uh, the, the, this term means that she miss, right? Times this p three two is also half. Okay, so we got this, and then you find oh, these two are the same. This is not 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 accident. Okay, so let's solve p for three. So what was the probability of before we paint pure that she she, she uh so it's the same right she hits three two and also hits the hits hits the curve hits the at, at fourth row so p three two is half now he she has a larger probability to hits right so it's two divided by three three one divided by three okay so now you can see that wow they're all the same right one third, one third, one third. Okay, so now you can do your mathematical induction. Okay, so conjecture. P and K is one divided by K minus one. 
because and uh, we already show that uh, n equals to three n equals to four is correct. Okay, so our goal, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, one divided by minus one. Okay, so our goal is to prove this is correct. Okay, so proof. Okay, so mathematical induction, we already assumed that uh, this is correct for n, and we want to go for general n plus one. Okay, so what's this n plus one k? So it must be what? It must be the probability of maybe it maybe it hits at n k. This is n k, right? But so and it hits, so she hits the next row, hits she get the points. So it's this n plus one. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, no, uh, this means that she didn't she didn't get right because it's already n k and n plus one k. Okay, so she didn't she didn't get a point. So this is she didn't get a point. Plus what? Plus the she get a point and k plus one. This is uh plus that and n n plus one rows that previous row she, she already got the k plus one. Uh, she already. Yeah, she didn't get a point. She didn't get only k minus one in the previous throws, but at these throws, she get the correct one. Okay, so let's solve it. So this, this is the only possibility. Okay, so what is this? Uh, so what is this p and k? Right, by my definition, is one divided by minus one. Also, this one is also one divided by minus one. Right, so I can. Combine it, and what? So this means that at n k, at n k in it hits, uh, at n n k, and the uh, ask what is the probability that she didn't she didn't get right? She didn't get she didn't get points. Okay, so by definition, this is she didn't right? She didn't. So it's one minus k divided by n. Because at n at n throws that is successful k, so the next one that she didn't is one minus k. Okay. And uh, how about this one? Uh, this one means what? This one means that uh, at n k minus one, that the uh, but next she hit right. But this is n k minus one, so it's k minus one divided by n, and then she hits right. So this is our our result. Okay, so amazingly, let's write down. So it's one divided by minus one, one minus k divided by n plus uh, k minus one divided by n. Okay, so let's do this. Wow, right, so it's one divided by n. Okay, so we prove this, we finish our induction. Okay, so now we go back to the answer. So what is the answer? 100 points exactly five basket. It's a fix, right? The answer is one divided by 99. Okay, one divided by minus one. Well, so this problem is very tricky that uh, you need to write down this solution. Think carefully. Maybe you do the n equals to five that you can see the hint. So this one I think is very difficult. See you guys next videos.